All right, now for the last part of this course, we are going to talk about what is a PWA and we're gonna make our app, we're gonna make it into a PWA. So first, let's talk about what is a PWA. PWA stands for Progressive Web Application and that just means a web application, well, Progressive Web Application. And that just means a web application that um, has different characteristics than the application uh, website normally. So for example, one of these characteristics is that it has a offline support. Another characteristic is that it's faster and it has uh, stuff like notifications or home screen engagement or stuff like that. So a normal website usually doesn't have any of these things. But when we make it into a web application, we get a little bit more power to make our website look and act like an app. Uh, many companies use these web applications already and uh, you can see examples of these, for example, in Instagram or Uber or Tinder or I don't know, somewhere else that you go to their website on your phone and it feels already like an app and you can have geolocation support, notifications, uh, you can launch it from the home screen. This means that you don't have to go to the website, but you can save it and launch it on the home screen. So it feels like an app and you can hide the URL, for example. So it feels more like an app. Um, so yeah, that's it. That is a PWA and that is what we're going to do. Uh, the way that we realize if something is a PWA is by going here to application and, uh, sorry, audits over here and here uh, we're using something called lighthouse and lighthouse is um, like a scanner for a PWA and it's built in Chrome. So as you can see here, we are auditing and it's going to tell me the good, the bad uh, of this website. And it's going to tell me like if it's a PWA, if it's not, how fast is it and all that stuff. All right. So let's see. All right, as you can see here, it tells me that uh, SEO is 82, best practices, progressive web app is uh, 58. So it's not a progressive web application. But for example, if we go to Google Translator, this one I actually know is a web app because I have it installed on my phone. Uh, when I wanna translate any Korean text to English, I just go to Google um, Translator and it opens up with a splash screen of its own and it, it goes to Google Translate. So let's see. This, uh, the Lighthouse, what it does is that it tries to access it offline, access it online. It makes, a sm um, it simulates a very slow CPU. It simulates slow Wi-Fi and it's super cool. All right, look at this. It's actually not so good as a web application. All right, now what we're gonna focus on is later on, we're going to focus on these four. Performance, we're gonna try to make it 100, but we're gonna, we're gonna try to make all this one, two, three, four, a uh, 100, or at least more than 90, all right? So that's it. See you on the next one for the last part of this course, PWA, here we go, bye-bye.